The Book of Amos, Chapter 3. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth, therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Will a lion roar in the forest when he has no prey? Will a young lion cry out of his den if he has noth nothing taken? Can a bird fall in a snare upon the earth when no gin is for him? Shall one take up a snare from the earth and have taken nothing at all? Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord has not done it? Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he reveals his secret into his servants, the prophets. The lion has roared, who will not fear? The Lord God has spoken, but who can prophesy? Publish in the palaces of Ashdod and in the palaces of the land of Egypt and say, Assemble yourselves upon the mountains of Samaria and behold the great tumlets in the midst thereof and the oppressed in the midst thereof. For they know not do the right, says the Lord, who store up violence and robbery in their palaces. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, an adversary there shall be even round about the land. And he shall bring down any strength from thee, and thy palaces shall be spoiled. Thus says the Lord, as the shepherd takes out the mouth of a lion two legs, or a piece of an ear, so shall the children of Israel be taken out that dwell in Samaria in the corner of a bed, and in Damascus in a couch. Hear ye, and testify in the house of Jacob, says the Lord God, the God of hosts, that in the day that I shall visit the transgressions of the Israel upon him, I will also visit the altars of Bethel, and the horns of the altar shall be cut off and fall to the ground. And I will smite the winter house with the summer house, and the houses of ivory shall perish, and the great houses shall have end, says the Lord. Chapter 4 Hear this word, ye kin of Bashan, there that are in the mountains of Samaria, which oppress the poor, which crush the needy, which say to their masters, be bring and let us drink. The Lord God has sworn by his holiness that, lo, the day shall come upon you, that he will take away with hooks and your posterity with fish hooks. And ye shall go out at the breaches, every cow at that which is before her, and ye shall cast them into the palace, thus says the Lord. Come to Bethel and transgress, at Gilgal multiply transgression, and bring your sacrifices every morning, and your tithes after three years, and offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving with leaven, and proclaim and publish the free offerings. For this likes you, O ye children of Israel, says the Lord God. And I also have given you cleanness of teeth in all your cities, and want of bread in all your palace places, Yet have ye not returned unto me, says the Lord? And also I have withholden the rain from you. When there were yet three months to the harvest, I caused it to rain upon one city, and caused it not to rain upon another city. In one piece was rained upon, and the piece whereupon it rained not with third. So two or three cities wandered into one city to drink water, but they were not satisfied. Yet have ye not returned unto me, says the Lord. I have smitten you with blasting and mildew. When your gardens and your vineyards and your fig trees and your olive trees increased, the palm worm devoured them. Yet have you not returned to me, says the Lord. I have sent among you the pestilence after the manner of Egypt. Your young men have I slain with the sword and have taken away your horses. And I have made the stink of your camps to come up unto your nostrils. Yet have ye not returned unto me, says the Lord. I have overthrown some of you, as God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, and ye were as firebrand plucked out of the burning. Yet have ye not returned unto me, says the Lord. Therefore thus will I do unto thee, O Israel, and because I do this unto thee, prepare to meet thy God, O Israel. For lo, he that forms the mountains and creates the wind and declares unto man that is thought, that masks the morning darkness and the tread upon the high places of earth. The Lord, the God of hosts, is his name. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. I love you with all my heart. In your loving name I pray. Amen.